Hello everyone, this video is about matches creating and competitions in R and uh, this is the main content that I'm going to cover in this video. If you want to create a matrix in R, you can use the matrix function which has four arguments, data arguments and specifies the data source, the elements that you are going to include in the matrix. M row specifies the number of rows, M color specifies the number of columns, and uh, this by row argument specifies how this the data uh, data source, the elements are going to be filled into the matrix, and the default value of the by row argument is false. That is to say, if you specify by row equals to false the elements will be filled into the matrix column by column and you will get the same result if you don't specify this spiral argument and um, m row and n column these two arguments are dimension arguments and uh, you usually you only need to specify one of them for example if you have 20 elements you only need to specify one of them for you can specify n row because the four of them in R will calculate and decide that m column equals to 5 because 4 times 5 equals to 20 and by using the arguments in order we don't have to name the names of the arguments and in this example because m and n row is exactly the second element in this second argument in this function so you don't need to type like m row equals 2 you can only type 2 and then r this 2 will automatically be regarded as the number of rows and for this example we can first specify a sequence of eight numbers this sequence includes eight numbers from one to eight and then we use sequence one to create matrix one which has two rows because we specify number of rows as two and uh, so that the number of columns will be 4 and uh, then for the by row argument if we want to fill in the matrix column by column we can write like this or like this we can directly specify by row equals to false then the 8 numbers from 1 to 8 will be filled into matrix 2 column by column which is like this uh, 1 and 2 will be first filled into the first row the first column 3 and 4 then will be filled into the second column and uh, the third column the and the first column and uh, we will get the same result if we don't specify the viral argument because and the default value of the viral argument is false but if we want to fill the matrix row by row we must specify the number of rows must specify by row argument as two because it's not a default value so we need to specify it otherwise we will get the default condition which is color color by color so if we specify by row equals to two then these eight numbers will be filled into the matrix to um, row by row. First, number one, two, three, four are filled into the first row, and then the last four numbers are filled to filled into the second row. 
and um, if we don't specify the number of rows, uh, we only specify the number of columns. In this case, we need to clarify like this. Because in this case, 2 is, two is not the number of rows and we don't specify number of rows, we skip the number of rows. So, by clarifying number of rows, the columns, we will get this result, which, ha did, mm, yeah, which has two columns and four rows. And uh, we can create the same matrix using both of the two match arguments. Then we will get the same matrix. So mm, you can only specify one dimension argument or you can specify both of them. And um, mm, we can also create a matrix that includes elements from standard normal distribution. And uh, to create numbers of standard normal distribution, we need to use our norm function. And in this case, uh, we create 24 numbers from standard normal distribution. And these 24 numbers are filled into a matrix which has 4 rows and uh, 6 columns. So matrix phi, every element of matrix phi is from standard normal distribution and uh, this matrix has 4 rows and 6 columns. And uh, we all can also use DIN function to determine the dimension of a matrix. I think we can use this function if we don't know the dimension of a matrix. And this function can tell me tell us the number of rows of the function which is 4 and the number of columns of the this func of this matrix which is 6 and um, we can also mm, get to know or select some specific columns or rows or, num or numbers from a matrix And if we want to select the first select the number on the first row and the sixth column of matrix phi, we can type in like this, then we will get the number on the first row and the sixth column of matrix phi. And this is exactly this number. And then we can also mm, select an entire row from a matrix by leaving the column number black. For example, in this way we can get the entire second row of the matrix phi. And uh, we can also select the entire column by leaving the row number black. And uh, in this case, we get the entire fifth row, fifth column of matrix phi. Then, what we are going to do is matrix computations. Mm, first, I think we need to create two matrices to do matrix computations which is matrix 6 and the matrix 7 and uh, I like to specify matrix 6 like this which is a matrix 
that include time numbers from 1 to 10 and has two curls and then matrix 6 is like this and uh, matrix 7 is a little bit complicated um, in this case rep15 It means a sequence of five ones and REP two five means a sequence of five twos. So in this way we combine five ones and five twos and then fill these ten numbers into a matrix which has two rows and uh, the way we fill the numbers into the matrix is row by row so we get matrix 7 like this first of all matrix addition we can simply add one matrix to another is matrix is matrix addition between matrices then Mm. then the two elements from two different matrices are added t together and you get this result and we can also add some constant number to a matrix for example we can add 3 to matrix 7 6 and in this way every element in matrix 6 is increased by 3. Second, matrix subtraction. We can simply subtract matrix 7 from matrix 6 and get this result. And um, both addition and subtraction are done med element by element. Mm, it's simply that we add different elements different elements from the two matrices mm, at the same position together and the um, third matrix inverse I think we need to use some sub matrices to do this inverse mm, for example we can select the first and the second column from of the matrix six, and the U. And so it's just first and second column of the matrix six, and then we mm, use sub function to get the inverse of it. So its result is the inverse of this matrix. Use using sub function get the inverse of a matrix then transpose just using the T so it's this result is the transpose of matrix 7 and then matrix multiplication um, there are two kinds of matrix multiplication the first kind is the matrix multiplication that is the same as what we learned in linear algebra is a multiplication between matrices and uh, to do this kind of multiplication we first need to match the dimensions of the matrices for example if we want to calculate the results of Multi matrix multiplication between matrix 6 and 7 we need to transpose matrix 7 first because matrix 6 is has a dimension two of 2 times 5 and matrix 7 has the same dimension mm. so we need to transpose matrix 7 into a dimension of 5 times 2 
so that we can get a result which has a matrix with catch which has a dimension of two times two. And uh, we can mm, and uh, another kind of multipli matrix multiplication is down element by element. And in this case, we only use use the multiplication symbol. And this result has the same, exactly same dimension as matrix six and matrix seven, um, because it's down element by element, and ele every element of this result matrix is the result um, of. The multiplication, the multiplication of the two elements from matrix six and matrix seven at the same position. And then um, we can also multiply a matrix by a constant number. And then every element in the matrix will an art times five. And then my matrix division. This is matrix division between matrix and the matrix. And this is matrix and this is division between a matrix and uh, a constant number and uh, so there are two kind of matrix multiplication one is down matrix by, by matrix and uh, one is down element by element and uh, this four competitions the last four competitions, they are element by element, and uh, before we do the last four kinds of competitions, we need to first make sh to check if matrix six and matrix seven have the same dimensions, and otherwise, these four these four competitions cannot be done. Um no I think it no I'm sorry I think it doesn't matter if we times uh, we times um, times uh, times a matrix by a constant number but if we this kind of um, competition these are the competitions are done by matrix and between two matrices we need to match the dimensions Oh okay I think I have covered what I want to cover and uh, thank you.